Yes, so the news which reaching us now is that uh, majority of the people who campaigned for Tinubu, who supported him, who defended him, who lured other people to say they should vote for Tinubu, that Tinubu government or regime is going to be better than that of, Tinubu, uh, of Buhari. They are now hiding their faces in shame because the backlash that is coming to them, they can't even withstand it. They can't withstand it. And unfortunately, most of them are not even getting anything. Of course, the only thing they can gain from supporting Tinumbu is good governance. And they are not getting it. Those ones who are being who are getting the dividends of democracy, they are getting it on the platter of corruption and supporting evil. So and they are how many percent are, are, are those people? They are just like a 0.1 percent. But majority of the people, let's even assume that they supported it. They are not getting anything and they are, the backlash is just too much. Olaya disclosed that many of the office colleagues who supported Tinumbu's bid for the presidency are now concealing their faces, unable to withstand the criticism and backlash from the Nigerian public. Nollywood actor Damilari Olaya has spoken out against his colleagues who publicly backed Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's presidential campaign, suggesting they are now on the run. Okay. <laughs> That's how it go be now. Of course, they don't need to 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 hide their, their their faces or they don't need to be ashamed of that. You can support somebody today and just say, "Oh, I thought this. Oh, I thought this man is going to be, but it's a disappointment." So even me. So I, I'm, you know, I answer. Off. So there's nothing wrong in supporting anybody. You might have a your, your genuine reasons. Oh, because of you think like this, you think like this. But at the end of the day, if the thing is not what it is or what you think, you can back down. Nobody's going to once you come out genuinely. Nobody's going to be. Nobody will be. You know. Uh, bad mouthing you or ridiculing you that's the way i see it brethren please so this man is just suffering from the evil governance destroyed an economics bequeathed to him by buari teno don't you hear what he said about debt repayment what about all the yeah all the whatever he has given huge amounts to help them take care of take care of us in our respective states as any one of them Come out of their come out to help their people. Hey, it's, it's, that is a nonsense. Why should you be giving? Do something as the federal government. There are some policies that we you don't. This is not the uh, it is not the responsibility of the governors. Why should they be giving them the money? And if they are not doing this, then you should come out and cry and say this is exactly what he has done. But we are talking of the policies that the it is out of the control of the governors because all this a uh, black milk. You are sharing uh, rice. Who is that one going to help? The worst part of it is that what we used to experience before this uh, Tinubu, because as far as I know, Tinubu's government is a useless one. Other ones, they were bad. The problems we were experiencing under other governments was that it is not everything that was affected. Oh, people could be complaining about a uh, fuel. Oh, fuel scarcity. Oh, uh, rice is expensive now. But that does not mean that uh, every other thing will be expensive. But this was simultaneously everything all together. You want, are you talking of water? Ordinary Gary, those family, they don't know the seafood chop, or not so Gary, they drink. Oh. Because Gary was affordable. If you know fish chop rice, at least you go fish, you see granite. Granite go day cheaper. Eh, sugar, eh, water. You go drink Gary, your belly go full. Oh, bread, you go see the expensive. Maybe at times the bread will be expensive, but other things. You go say, okay, if, I, if I cannot eat this one, I will eat this one. Those were the problems we were having or experiencing other, under other governments. For this one, from top to bottom, like uh, Buari used to say, from top to bottom, everything is affected. So there's no, there's no hiding place. There's no, there's no uh, escape, escape route. So if I feel, if I, if I escape from rice, so if I don't get money to chop rice, at least I feel drink Gary. Gary now your mates. No, Gary now your mates. Gary not be your mates now. Even water said don't die. So where do you go to? Where do you turn to? What do you turn to? That is a problem. They will not tell you a suffering down the day. It's a lie. Anybody who is saying that, eh, hmm. in fact, eh, you will listen to me. What do you think say go happen to that person? We go see the support this nonsense. So that is just the difference. Nobody say, oh, Tine Buari did well. Nobody say, oh, good luck, Jonathan did well. But now they are much, much better. The surprising thing and the reason why some people are just hiding their faces in shame is that the same Tinumbu that was criticized criticizing other governments now those governments uh, their own is even much better we're not even talking about uh, okay when you have a new government uh, the past government will not be better this one is a different thing everything is affected there's no escape i want to see uh, this i want the chop 
People will be saying they don't even like this. Even the bees say, you know, go, you can't even afford it. Why hiding? Why are these people hiding? You all think others are better. See, we can't even trust any politicians except when we have tried them. No one among them is better of all of them are the same. All of them are not the same. Oh, yeah, you are an hypocrite because yeah, you want to be noticed. <laughs> and of course, you have noticed him now. And the people that he talked about, they are not a... Uh, you can't even see them because they are ashamed. Come out now. They will suffer to, hmm, until they repent. So your shame and evil expectations, everyone, everyone, true Nigerian that supported our duly elected president is up and loud as usual. Mention one of your own enemies you think uh, has gone into hiding. You think can uh, buy Sinumbu the way you people conspire with the to buy our lower. You see, you are this one is fighting for Sinumbu, and meanwhile, his life is 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 meaningless. Yes, so someone be saying nonsense. So don't worry, I'm gonna touch you soon. Since you are supporting bad governance and bad government, God of truth and of justice will judge all of you who are happy when people are suffering. And Nigeria is turning upside down because of your selfish interest. It's part of an old scripts. It is you that you should be ashamed of yourself. Very soon, you will not be able to even show your face or relevance in the entertainment industry. Oga, Oga won't strike you dead. Keep pretending until you turn to skeleton. Somebody is saying that. Suffer, suffer for rude. No get him. Love corruption due to tribalistic Oga. Oga go buy. You there? You should even if you like if you sound like you sound like your name. Just continue. Dami, tell them who all stomach infrastructure supporters should not leave Tinubu to solve the problems alone. Don't forget that uh, even Buhala, he said, oh, all the people who are supposed to defend Tinubu now they are now hiding. He said it. So this is not a, this a liar, a liar who is not the only one saying it. I remember Buhala said that next week that those who are supposed to defend Tinubu now that they are not saying anything. How can they say anything? This is just the beginning of his reality in politics. When things are good, they will be with they will be with you and uh, vice versa. So do the needful and be free. So guys, uh, let's know what you think and have your take on this.